Hi, this is Vishnu from Customer Labs. Um, I would like to quickly show you around how to implement Facebook Conversion API uh, in this uh, quick and short video without any developer help or writing a single line of code. Let's get into it. The first thing you have to do is installing the tracking code on your website. And once you install the tracking code on your website, you open up our small widget, which will help you capture all the events. So in this case, I I'm going to capture a couple of events. One is add to cart, the other one is purchase. And uh, the tracking is pretty simple. You don't have to go uh, go and take the help of developers. All you have to simply do is few clicks, or you can reach out to us. We'll be happy to um, help this uh, track these events as well. Um, the first one is whenever whenever a customer click on add to cart, we wanted to track that particular uh, action and collect few events like product name and product price as well. Once that is done, obviously every shop will have multiple products. And when you have multiple products, you don't want to set this up for every single product. So all you have to do is go here and give star. And once you give star, this particular template will, up, will be applied for all the particular products. You don't have to set this up for every single product. Once that is done, I would like to show you the thank you, uh, uh, purchase event and the, for the purchase event you go to thank you page and here I would like to track product name save currency and revenue and next next and uh, give the parameter or the URL parameter in which you want to trigger this part page view update action and you can simply save and close this so in the background we will be setting up all these events on your website automatically and once that is done obviously you go to uh, our integrations or destination screen and on the destination screens you have to simply set up the facebook so you copy your facebook pixel here and then you authenticate with facebook with few clicks once again and you choose which uh, uh, ad account you want to start sending these details and then switch on the data, send data via server side. So once you switch it on, go back and go to the event workflow and Facebook, you can send via client side, which is browser, and you can also send all the events through server side as well. All you have to do is enable all and it will start sending the data to browser side. If you want to test any of these events, all you have to do is open this and then here, like I mentioned, test event code. You just have to mention the test code, which Facebook gives you here. So this is the test code and all you can simply do is go ahead and uh, paste this test code here. And once you start triggering the actions, you will start seeing the actions straight away on the Facebook. So this event is triggered from server and this event has been sent with all the parameters that Facebook is looking for. That's it. So all it really takes is less than 10 minutes to set up the Facebook pixel. Rather going around developers, you can do a few clicks or reach out to us. We are happy to set this up. Thank you very much and look forward to talk to you.